Hello guys, this is Ibrahim Baba today from Data Technology uh, Last video, I used Microsoft Excel to solve uh, this problem, uh, but today I'm going to make use of a uh, Python uh, to save the same problem. Uh, and the problem is that uh, we want to look at the ISLI in each of our uh, this uh, department. Uh, to achieve that, I have to uh, go to my uh, Jupyter notebook. Okay, let me close this. Right. Uh, okay. Fine. Uh, <coughs> I'm already in Jupyter notebook here. Yeah? Now, uh, my file is in desktop. Let me click on this. Then everything, uh, everything on my desktop will just come up. Okay. And my data is uh, employee details. And I want to use this uh, Microsoft Excel data, just, just mark it, then go back up, uh, let's go up, okay, then come here, where you see new here, then open your kernel, Python kernel, okay, fine, okay, it's loading, yes, I have this now. Uh, since I have uh, this IDE, Jupyter Notebook IDE, uh, then uh, you, uh, to call that uh, Excel file, you have to uh, go to Pandas library and to go to, uh, to do that, just write import, you want to import Pandas as BD, BD means I'll uh, give the Pandas at library as an alias, okay, then let me run it. Okay, it has run uh, successfully. Now, uh, let me name that file. Let me call it uh, employees. Employees. Okay, let me call it employees. Okay, and is equal to pd, which is alias for that panda, pd dot reach. That is how you can call the file uh, from your local server. pd dot read underscore what is your uh, format excel then open your parentheses give it quotation is uh, it is called uh empty this m underscore details details uh then you have to write the extension of that file which is uh x l s x uh which implies excel then let me run it okay it has also run uh successfully then let me call employees Okay, that's variable employees. Okay, let me run it. Okay, I have my data. Can you see it uh, the way I have it in Microsoft uh, Excel? But what I want to achieve here is uh, the maximum salary, that is the highest salary in each of these departments. And to achieve that, it's very simple. Okay, uh, I will just say employees, that's the book. Okay, employees dot i have to go by you can see that uh the same keyword uh come out to all of them go by and go by what i have to go it uh by department depth okay then i will now say uh dot dot what what i want to uh print uh the output i want which is salary dot salary okay uh then what is the next thing what i want i want the maximum dot maximum okay dot max uh then is a function you have to do this to it then uh, let's see how it will go oh there's an error where is that error employee dot q by department dot salary is there any issue with my salary for department okay let me read the error Okay, max. That max will be small x and not capital X. Okay. All right. Let me run it. Fine. Uh, you can see that I have my uh, result intact. Okay. Now, I want to convert this into data frame. Okay. You can see that it's not. It it does not look like this. Okay. To convert it to table. Okay, I will make use of a data frame pd uh, dot data frame. 
okay then i will now pass it this uh code control c let me copy it and paste it here control v then uh, let me run it as you can see that i have it uh, in table format now that is how you can achieve uh, the same result uh, using python i believe that you still enjoy this if you do so and so that you subscribe to my youtube channel so that immediately we upload new uh, content then you will receive the notification uh to we meet next time i still remain your ibrahim papa Tunde from data analytics bye for now